Hi, I'm gonna make Halloween costumes for my rabbits. I already shot this intro, I'm gonna roll that intro and then I'll be back with you for the rest of the video. The perfect idea to do right now because you never know what's gonna happen and if I don't do it now and I never do it, I will very much regret it. So we have a bunny that is small and his name is Georg. We have a very, very, very large rabbit and his name is Gunnar, but they're both rabbits. So what's funny here is if we dress them up as George and Lenny from Of Mice and Men. I don't know. It's not that funny, but it's, it's kind of hilarious at the same time. It's just so stupid. So let's make my rabbit that is giant and huge into a giant and huge man that crushes small rabbits because to be honest when we got Gunnar this summer I really much thought he was gonna crush Georg. I want to make them hats because I think the hats are iconic and I don't want to freak them out with too many clothes on on top here. I know Georg really doesn't like it. Um, he he kind of tolerates it. He tolerates me but he doesn't particularly like it. I have no idea how Gunnar would react to that. So I'm gonna start with the hats and see where I'm at and go from there. I went to a thrift store here to try and find some clothes that I can alter and make into these costumes for them because that is very much what I do is to use used. I found this hat which I thought would be perfect actually for uh, me to wear, but I can't put this on when I have a wig, but for me to wear while making these because it takes me, it pulls me into character as well, you know, especially with the shirt. Oh, girl. <laughs> I do have a picture I'm kind of using as a reference for everything and that I'm basing their costumes on, which at this point is just a cowboy hat and a newsboy cap for the newsboy cap for Gunnar. I found this a gray sweater. I think it's some type of a wool blend. It's kind of nice. Let's check it actually. Let's see what it is. This skirt is my brown thing that I will be making into a cowboy hat for Georg. So I have those two. And if I want to make something for uh, Gunnar. And back to me. For the actual pattern making of the hats, I got a little creative. <coughs> I watched the videos I wanted to follow for this to see the starting point, what measurements they would need and all that. Then, to have a starting point with each bunny, I measured around their ears to have the circumference... To have the circumf circumference... To know how long it was around their ears, the width. And from there, I drew out the hats and where I wanted the placement of the ears to be, like where I wanted the ears to come out. Yeah, beautiful, excellent. I'm such an artist. Both hats require different things. So let's start with our little feisty cowboy, Georg. For the cowboy hat, the top will be solid and the ears will come out from the side, not from the top like I drew here. That's just bad designing, honestly. I found out his tiny little nut of a head had five centimeter diameter. So I drew a five centimeter big circle on paper and cut that out. I fitted that on Georg's head and turned the, the circle into not as much of a circle. It was more like a oval shape, a almond shape. And now it fits nicely between his little ears and that's that. For the new sea hat, I also measured around Gunnar's ears and they were like eight centimeter circumference. Since the new sea hat is gonna be bigger than his avocado of a head, I cut a 12 centimeter circle and that was the base for the new sea hat. I called that for the night and actually went to photograph other bunnies that are looking for homes. They used to be wild rabbits and some of them were pet rabbits that 
their owner didn't want to have them anymore and just let them outside to die a horrible, terrible death. And they are now looking for their own homes. They come alone or come in pairs or they're just so adorable. And if you're in Iceland looking for a rabbit and want to get one uh, before the New Year's, I will leave a link for you down below. The next morning, the real fun began. Like maths and stuff that I've never been good at until I started sewing. Anyone else? I started with Georg's hat, a small little fedora. I disassembled the skirt with my seam burping tool and salvaged anything that could be of use later. And I even noticed the lining of the skirt would make a beautiful top. I decided that for this project, I would move onto the floor, kind of like a throwback to our previous apartment with no tables and only floor space and many, many a curious rabbit. And honestly, I miss having them checking up on me. So this was very nice. Gunnar was the first to come check up on me. And honestly, don't be alarmed. I know his shoulder blades are looking a little bit naked. Um, Georg is just being overly nice and slightly uh, over grooming him. We are actually looking into that with the wet, so don't worry about it. It's been taken care of. I basically just went off of a YouTube video, so I watched the video and scaled everything down. I couldn't really tell you how I did it. It was kind of just, I did it, tried it. If it worked, great, uh, and then moved on. If not, then <laughs> I tried to figure out something else. Because of the small size of everything for them, flipping and trying to iron everything was rather strange, but I think it worked out quite nice, except for the top of the cowboy hat. It looks kind of bulky, but obviously like I, I don't know how to iron that. It's just kind of too small. I tried the brim with the top kind of a thing that's like the top hat thing. And honestly, it looked a little bit too long like a top hat so i cut that down to make it shorter and ba-boom you have a cowboy hat georg even let me try that on while he just kept on sleeping since georg just kept on sleeping and would not give me an input on this amazing hat that i just made him i looked to instagram for a little bit of a help just to finish it I made a hat and I'm wondering if I should put ear holes on it or not since it's for the bunnies. What do you think? <laughs> and this is the definite winner. So now it's just to cut the ear holes. But while my wannabe Indian Jones looking rabbit kept on sleeping, I moved on to the new sea hat for Gunnar. I measured just about every glass in the apartment just to find the right fit for his head size and from there I used that to make the brim. I cut the sleeves off the shirt that I thrifted and seam ripped what was seam rippable. I started by cutting the brim out of cardboard, then I made the top and the bottom parts. I tried the bottom part on Gunnar along with the brim. Then I sewed the top and bottom part of the top of the hat together without realizing some very, very, very important parts. Ear holes. If you have the sleeve type of thing to iron on, use that. If you don't, get that. Get one of those because it's so good. It's so good. Then I cut the head fitting thing. I added interfacing to the headband and sewed that. And now I realized my error and I made a small mock-up just to try and see if the ear holes were the right size for Gunnar and try them on him. Which, to be honest, he was very happy about and very thrilled that I was putting that on his head. I also, just to reinforce kind of the seam, I put on some more interfacing just between the ears on the big part there and sewed along the outside of the holes just to kind of 
reinforce and I don't know what to tell you. I just try to be professional. From there, I just kind of finished the hats off camera, <laughs> like a proper cave troll with a no brain. I finished the, the hats kind of by hand sewing everything together and that was kind of making me mad so I just wanted to do it by myself alone and not record that. I don't know if you relate, maybe not because usually people don't sew and record it but I think we should just move on to the reveal and the re reveal and talk after that. Let's talk later. Let's see how cute they are. Honestly, how cute! Those are bougie bougie. That's so cute. The only kind of thing I wish I would have done better is to just keep my brain in my head whenever I was cutting and that would have maybe translated to me cutting the ear holes for Georg, like the cowboy hat, a little bit further back because I cut them like around here on his head when they should have been like, closer to the back because they push the hat uh, back when, whenever they're on his um, ears. So I'm tempted to turn the hat around, but then we have like a sloping in the front of it and it kind of looks like a magician's hat. I don't know, just something. If you're gonna make this for a rabbit um, with this type of ears, not the lop kind, put the ear holes further back but otherwise I think they look stunning I think they look so cute and I mean he still looks like a small tiny Indiana Jones even though he's not supposed to be Indiana Jones he's supposed to be George but he's more like a Georg looking Indiana Jones <laughs> Gunnar is not a fan of hats and kind of the only way to keep a hat on his head is when he is sleeping and he is not sleeping when he is up on a table because he absolutely hates being carried because he is a rabbit and he is a big big chunk of a rabbit as well so I want to keep making them stuff but even though they kind of hate me for it but they're just so adorable I really want to know what you think about these costumes did they stand up to um, do we have any expectations for what I make? I don't, so I maybe you do. Tell me about it. I will make my own costume next week. So if you're interested in seeing that, you can tickle that little button down there that sounded more gross than I meant, <laughs> meant it to. Okay, I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Circum, circumfriend, circum.